Good morning, party people. I am still in Richmond. I hope to be connecting with Lester today and anybody else that needs me to help them take care of some stuff. If we haven't set an appointment time and you're in the Richmond area, uh, give me a call a little later today or, yeah, give me a call later today so we can schedule something, get you taken care of. As you can see here, they got a nice exercise room. I will not be using that. I've already gone for my walk. I'm ready to get with it. Also, we got Moshi's cylinder head replaced yesterday. That seems to be running better. We adjusted the timing. I talked to Dominic where we did the oil pan seals. He said after two days, his noise has returned. So his next step is to replace the oil filter with a man oil filter, Volvo oil filter. If that didn't work for him, it's probably going to have to replace some lifters in that thing. Uh, usually, if you get air bubbles in your oil and your lifters tick occasionally, the oil pan gaskets are leaking. I guess it's possible that a lifter could be damaged if it has suffered that fate for a little while. I don't know how long it was ticking before he told me about it, but I think we met and talked about that last fall and we're just now getting around to replacing it. I don't know how many miles he's put on it in the meantime, but that may or may not affect the longevity of those lifters. Another thing I noticed yesterday when we took the cylinder head off of that S70, that thing had old 850 lifters in it. So we replaced those with the newer style call so that we can uh, get you taken care of. I hope you enjoyed today's clips from yesterday's cylinder head replacement. Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Here we are, folks. Going to replace the cylinder head. Suspecting bad valve stem seals. This car is burning about a quart of oil every 200 miles. Time to get this thing sealed up and rolling. Kicking off the day with a strut bar in the way. Got to move that strut brace. Then we start pulling some of this other stuff. Engine cover offs, spark plug, wires off. We got the strut brace off. Put the bolts back in there because got to lift the car up on this side to deal with the timing. We got the over the engine pipe off. We got the cam sensor off, the distributor cap off. Now I'm gonna take these lines loose on the back, break the fuel pressure, and drain the coolant. We got kind of an issue here. I got the crank timing dead on down there. Let's see if we can get you can see it. Uh, not quite, because the engine's leaning down too far. This timing is dead on up here. Your whole tooth off on your intake, and your a whole tooth off on your exhaust. So timing's off. A tooth retard on both of these cams. We want to fix that. Got the timing belt loose. Fuel rail off. Getting ready to take the intake manifold off. Got the coolant hose off the radiator. I don't know if we had that before, but getting ready to pull that bolt right there above the water pump. That's the one that's usually missing if somebody did a head on these cars and they're not used to doing it. Three hours later, the head is off. We're cleaning everything up. We're getting the carbon off the pistons, getting the surface cleaned up, we're gonna clean off the exhaust, Japanifold surface, so we can start slapping this thing back together, folks. Got the crank on the mark. Got the gasket sealed on with some gasket maker. The exhaust manifold surface clean. Intake manifold surface is already pretty clean. Got the head gasket on. Got the surface of the block clean. Ready to go. 
on now we got to clean this belt off clean this stuff down here off with some parts cleaner get the nuts off the exhaust studs and we can bolt this cylinder head down cleaned off the pistons the best we can didn't want to scratch up the cylinder wall surfaces so we just got as close as we could to the edges of the pistons but we got all the piston tops cleaned off from all the carbon built coming up on five o'clock we started at 9 30 took a break a couple breaks got the oil well seals there the assembly lube in there getting ready to drop the cams in the head is torqued down exhaust manifold studs are started the water pipe jacket is screwed on and the thermostat is in so we are moving right along we got anaerobic sealant over here spread on this cam cover had to clean that up that wasn't cleaned up but it's ready to rock and roll now people or everything together fired right up computers relearning everything gotta look under it see if we got any oil running out nothing's running out that's a good sign engine mounts bad some of the noise little bit of lifter valve train noise that'll clear up soon we are running and gunning folks see if we got any smoke I don't even see no smoke we are good to go we can go racing time to go racing if you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.